to representatives of both houses of parliament, Pauline Chow, who was tracking the story, filed this report earlier in the day. A rousing end to the election season for Myanmar's opposition National League for Democracy Party last weekend. Aung San Suu Kyi's party has campaigned for change, and at her last rally before the crucial poll, she called for unity among supporters as well as among politicians. We will try to win the election in the right way. Don't stray from the right way because of the rumors and dirty provocations. It is the time to compete against the negative people with our strong spirit. Even if the NLD secures a victory, the country's constitution prevents the Nobel Peace Laureate from becoming president. While she may be popular both at home and abroad, many have been surprised at her silence at the plight of the Rohingyas, a Muslim ethnic minority. Resolving ethnic conflicts could be her party's biggest challenge as she tries to secure a larger portion of the 30 million plus votes. But perhaps to the NLD's advantage, locals are hoping for a change from the four-year rule of President Thin Sein and his Union Solidarity and Development Party. If the current party wins the election, the economy will be worse than it is now because the government controls everything, economy, all areas. The situation will be worse. Our best hope is to hope for a better business. We have some natural resources, but we are a poor country. We need a better economic system so we can have a better life. The outcome of this election is ever more crucial for these local business owners. Even though the country re-emerged from decades of isolation in 2011, much of that luster has been lost, with foreign investors waiting for further reforms before pumping more cash into this ethnically diverse and resource-rich nation. Pauline Chu, CNBC.